Hey guys, Tom here, Not So Average Builder, and today we're going to be working on clear coats. Alright, so you've got your model all finished, you've got it all ready to go, you've picked up a gloss wash, or you need to pin wash or something, especially if it's a Gumpla, you need to clear coat it because you want that wash to flow smoothly. And paint, no matter how smooth it looks, ain't smooth, so you need it to be smooth. And there are alternatives out there, like you've got uh, Tamiya's Gloss Clear, you've got Tamiya's Flat Clear, you've got all things that you can use. And even if you don't have access to those, Nine out of ten times your local Walmart or um, supermarket will have this stuff. It may not look like this anymore because they change the label so often. Uh, but as long as it says with future or it's clear, K-L-E-K-L-E-A-R, it's the same stuff. It's basically a clear coat for your floors and it's got this yellowy tinge to it. But when you put it on your models or your floors or whatever it was intended purpose, it's crystal clear. So you can brush this stuff on, you can dip this stuff, people do that with canopies for airplanes and stuff like that, but I have an airbrush and I'm going to show you how to airbrush this stuff on. For the airbrushing, you'll just need an airbrush and you'll need this, nothing else. For cleanup, you can use isopropyl alcohol, you can use ammonia, Windex, but you need something, I grabbed alcohol, I really need... I'm going to try alcohol and if that doesn't work then I'll just use Windex or, isop or um, if I've got it straight up ammonia, but I'm going to use the isopropyl alcohol and we'll go from there. Worst case scenario I've got the purple power and I can always clean it, I just don't want to strip any coating off of my uh, airbrush. But let's get cracking. So all I did was just pour the future into the pot, no thinning required, I've got my air, uh, air compressor set to 15 psi. I'm going to put the cap on just to make things easier. And normally you'd be working with a fan, but I'm in a well ventilated area. So I'm going to stick with that. And from what I've seen, and it'll get loud, so I apologize. Get some air going and just light mist coats. Sorry, had to readjust. Alright, so now that we've got that. I'll zoom in here. Alright, so one thing to take into consideration is you always want to keep an airbrush moving. Uh, I'm coming out in very small amounts of paint. I don't want to put too much on there because it'll pull. This stuff self-levels amazingly, but at the same time you also don't want to have runs and drips and stuff like that because gravity is going to be on against you because you're going to have, the model's going to be staying straight up and down, so everything's going to pull towards the bottom. So just make sure you're constantly moving the airbrush. I know I put that in a, a text earlier, but I cannot stress how important it is. Keep your airbrush low between 15 and 20 PSI and start off on light mist coats, one or two. And then once you get to the point where you feel comfortable, you can slowly start increasing the amount of clear coat that you're getting on the, the model itself or the figure. And that just makes sure that you're not going to, to, to ruin your finish because nothing sucks worse than having to pull all this off and potentially ruining your paint job that you worked so hard on. And that's it, just let it dry for a couple of hours and it'll be ready for the next stage. All right, to show you how easy this is, I'll blow off any dirt just using air. And I'm gonna start with the clear.
So I'll go off and do the rest of the model, and when I come back, we'll talk about it. All right, so now that your project is done, pop your cap off. Cool part about this stuff is you can reuse it. So dump what you've got left in there. Now, I would always recommend with any time you use clear coat, especially future, to go ahead and completely break down the airbrush and clean it, which is what I'm going to do. And if you don't know how to do that, I highly suggest that you learn um, how to do so. But first and foremost, I'm gonna fill this up with some isopropyl and get an old brush that I don't care about and just clean this out. Get your dump cup. Do not do what I do just now. I'm in a well-ventilated area. This is alcohol vapor. It is very flammable, so do not do what I do. And now I'm gonna take this thing apart. But that is all there is needed to do that. And like I said, with any clear coat, I would always, 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 always recommend fully breaking down your airbrush and cleaning it completely before moving on to anything else. If you have any questions, Drop a question or drop a comment below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, my 300 subscriber giveaway is coming up. I'm at 90 right now. I'm getting closer. And it's going to be the full Dragon Ball Mecha Collection line. And that would be awesome for someone to build and paint and weather. Just a hint. But alright guys, have a good one.